everyone welcome to my channel today I have for you kind of a quickie and what we're going to be doing here is just creating some little textures now this is going to be also part of a series of a junk journal that I'm planning and these are some of the colors and textures that I plan on incorporating so let's get on with the video here so as you can see, I plan on using the Tim Holtz Abandoned Paper, mostly for this project, and the project's going to be Abandoned Treasure. And I was trying to figure out how I could make, like, coin shapes. And I started playing around and came up with kind of a neat idea. And these are nice and thin, so they're not going to be super bulky in your journal or on a card. Um, if you did them in gold, you could certainly make them coins for a St. Patrick's Day card. But what I have here is just a little template that is well loved that I made just out of a piece of backing paper and I cut out a bunch of circles with my circle dies. And I'm going to pull in my um, Ranger transparent texture um, mat in the mat. And I'm going to apply this with my finger because that's just kind of how I roll. It's just easier for me to kind of get a feel for the thickness because you want it a little bit thick. It can't be paper thin um, because, you know, it has to have a little bit of body. So when you pick it up, it doesn't just crumble to pieces. So when I'm doing this on a... Um, on Nancy Bear, my Nancy Bear mat, <laughs> and uh, you do need to do it on some sort of a non-stick mat because you don't want these sticking. So I'm just going to pull this off and set it aside. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be getting out a few of my embossing powders. I'm going to use some Tim Holtz Distress Glaze. I'm going to use a couple of these Seth Apt Apters, and I'm going to be using the um, Emerald Creek and the Bearded Gray Sparkle. And all I'm going to do is just drop this embossing powder onto that texture paste and then just sort of gently pat it down. If I have to trim the circle later, that's no problem. Um, but I want my coins to be sort of organic, as if they were doubloons or whatever those things were, you know, with one-eyed woolly and all that stuff. I want them to be just kind of a treasure. And so I'm taking this... Mm, these things are really hard to open. I'm taking this, uh, this is a rust, and it's kind of poofy. And I'm just covering that spot where I have the texture paste, and I'm putting it on kind of thick. So there's going to be waste with this. Um, unless you do it all, you know, one color, then you can dump it back into the bag or back into your... Um, jar but since I'm using multiple brands and colors anything I don't use from there is going to be wasted so just keep that in mind if you go to make these if you keep them all in the same color then you can pour back what you don't use this is the patina and I'm throwing a little bit of the patina in the other ones too and I'll just pat it down because I want a good amount of that to stick to that texture paste and then finally, I'll use this um, Verdigris Sparkle. And the, the three ones in the bags can be found at em Emerald Creek. And they're a Canadian-based company. Um, I think scrapbook.com sells um, some of their brand. Maybe Simon Says Stamps. And then the green one, of course, is um, Tim Holtz uh, Distress Glaze. So it, it does come out a bit more translucent. So I've got those all patted down. And what I wanna do is I wanna let it dry for about 10, 15 minutes. And once it does, then I can go ahead and just go over to my trash can and just dump off the excess. And it won't all dump off because, you know, you do end up getting texture paste outside of the parameter of the circle when you're patting down with your fingers, but it's okay, it trims off. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use first my heat it tool. And the reason for that is because the tool, um, it doesn't blow super hard because I don't want to blow any of my stuff off. And sorry about that. I had, I knocked my power out with this thing because I had my heater on at the same time. <laughs> but I'm just kind of want to set it. I'm, I'm not going to do the complete bubble over thing just yet. I'm just setting it so it doesn't move when I um, take the higher speed heat gun or heat tool to it. 
So it doesn't really, I mean, you can see this whole video took me 10 minutes. Of course, I had the dry time in between and <laughs> Nancy Bear, you're getting messy there. Now I'm gonna take my powerful tool on high and I'm gonna zoom in here for you in a second because I want you to see the extreme that I'm going with these as far as uh, getting them melted. Because what I wanna do is I do want bubbles, okay? I want a lot of texture to this. And so I'm gonna burn it basically. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't like turn brown or anything, but it, it's, it'll start bubbling. And I'm just waiting for it to get to that point before I zoom in. Okay, now I've turned the power on to high because I'm sure that nothing's gonna blow off of there. I'm just moving around side to side and you can see how it's starting to bubble here. I'll zoom in. I want these bubbles, I want this to happen. You see how it's getting all bubbly, bubbly? <laughs> It's adding some great texture, making it look like, you know, a, a uh, eroded coin. And some work faster than others, obviously. This is the patina, and, and you probably can't see it on camera, but it's got little flecks of, like, gold and black in it. And I'll go ahead and get the um, Distress Glaze. I believe that's in the, oh, peeled paint. And then this Verdigris Sparkle does some pretty cool stuff too. It has some chunks in it. And this may seem elementary, but you know, when you've got a need, right? <laughs> um, and I'm trying to design all of the papers for this junk journal myself, every element. So I'm gonna need quite a few of these abandoned coins. So what you want to do is you want to let them cool a bit. I mean, you can let them cool as long as you want to. It just depends, you know, how many you're making. But you want to make sure they're cool enough to peel up. So let me zoom back out here. I'm just going to put my finger on and see if it feels cool. And I'm just going to bend my little mat here. And I got that one a little thin. But it's going to peel up. And sometimes you'll notice on the back of them, the texture paste still isn't even dry. So I'm just gonna turn that over and put it aside. And those of you who are peely people and you know who you are, this is really satisfying. <laughs> Here we go. Lift it up and peel it off. And they'll be somewhat you know, depending on how, how much you get of the embossing powder on there, they'll be somewhat translucent on your project. So let's just get this piece of scrap paper because I know I'm going to be using this and pull in these little, these little guys and you'll of course glue them on and just see how they're going to look on there. And pretty much the sky's the limit with these things you can do like I said, you could try to do some gold ones to make it look like gold coins for St. Patrick's Day. You can do them smaller for your cards. But just another, again, this will be part of a series where I'm doing different types of ephemera for my um, my first real themed junk journal. And stay tuned for that. That's going to be in bits and pieces because, you know. I have other stuff to do too, but this is kind of my passion project right now. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell if you'd like to be notified every time I upload a video. Thanks y'all. Have a great day.